What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and we're gonna try to fix this broken USB drive that my son broke. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see right here on this side that it's cracked completely in half. So we're gonna solder this side to this. There's no traces, they're just as, the back side I believe is the ground. And so we're gonna solder that, which is gonna be easy. And then we're gonna solder this other side and there's four solder connections that you see right here. One of the pads ripped off so we're going to solder uh, a trace. Clean up the surface with my desoldering braid. Cleaning off the old solder really helps bridge a better connection when applying new solder. Okay. So what you want, you want to do to bridge that okay. connection back is scratch off the paint to reveal the copper and then solder the two ends together across that crack. Right. If it doesn't work, try to using flux to clean the surface. That connection looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and flip this side over. All right, so what you want to do is just heat up the solder joint and then apply a little bit of solder to that solder joint. A little goes a long way. I'm using lead solder. It just works better than lead free solder. Let me go ahead and clean my solder iron. So the solder pad on this one is missing and I found the trace. The trace is right next to it, it's super small. You probably can't see it. Because the solder pad was ripped off where that black X is, I had to use my X-Acto razor knife and scratch the surface to expose that small thin trace. And you'll see copper under that once you scratch it off. Then you can solder the USB connection to that small trace. If it doesn't solder to that trace, just use flux and it should bond, that solder should bond to that trace. Right, so now I'm just gonna tin it just a little bit. There we go. That should be all right. I think it's soldered to that trace. All right, so that light should turn on. And that light should turn on. I heard a, I heard it, it no, the light's on. Let's go ahead and turn off the light so you can see the LED better. See, that lets you know there's power to the USB drive, which is good. And then there was a chime on my computer. And then look, it showed up right here. All right, but let's find out if it could read the data. So we saved, um, looks like we saved, might have saved it. Uh, we'll find out. Double click on it. And let's play something. Here we go. And let's double click and see if it actually plays. Come on, and yep, we saved it. All right, so let's go ahead and put it back in since we know that it is working. And then I'm gonna plug it back in. And it should populate right here any second. Uh, I probably, did I mess it up? No, it just takes a couple seconds. There it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and click on it. 
and see if it plays. Yes! And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up if it helped you out. If you know anyone with a broken USB, go ahead and click on the share button. And if you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy common tech fixes, go ahead and click on this link right here or click on the subscribe button below. And if you're interested in this mini gaming PC, go ahead and click on this link for that video. Thanks guys for watching.